Yo, what's up gamers? Just wanted to make a quick video talking about the different rarities of weapons in off the grid and what does it mean? You know, what's the difference between an epic and a common? We're gonna break it all down for you guys here and we're gonna be talking about how to modify your own weapons. So turn on that notification, smash that like button, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. All right, so right off the bat, what's the difference between an epic and a common? The only difference is the fact of how many attachments you can add to it. So if you click on epic, you can see that you can add four attachments. If you click on a common, you can see that you can only add one attachment. So now that's basically on every kind of gun that I've seen. There's epic and there's, you know, common, there's rare, there's uncommon. Rares get three, uncommons get two, and commons get one. So now you're asking yourself, well, what is a weapon attachment? There's a bunch of different weapon attachments that are out there in this game for all kinds of, of weapons, right? Now, if you open a chest and a gun comes out and it's epic, it's gonna have a random loadout of different stuff on that weapon. You know, it's gonna have a different stock or a different barrel, a different sight. And you're gonna wanna know what what one of those, you know, what one of those attachments do. Do they increase accuracy? Do what, you know, what do, what do they do exactly, right? To do that, go to your inventory or your loadout, excuse me. Go to any loadout, pick a gun that you like. I, I don't know if you can do this with a locked gun. I don't know if you can. No, you probably can't do it with a lock gun. So you got to go to your loadout and get a gun that you have unlocked that you want to kind of customize or maybe, you know, like I think everybody should be running this squall fam or the, yeah, the squall shotgun. This thing is a beast. It absolutely mows people down. If you're not using it, you're doing yourself an injust. But once you're on this, you can just click the right mouse button to equip and modify. Or if you're in the other menu, you can just click the right mouse button and just modify it. Right. And now this menu here, I feel like a lot of people didn't even know was in the game. And with this, you can see you have your three attachments because mine is a rare squall. So I got three attachments that I can put on. Now, unfortunately, I have not unlocked a lot of attachments yet because I haven't had time to get in here and really grind this game out. But if you wanted to just go learn the gun that you've been liking or there's a specific weapon you want to know, you know, what's your favorite attachments on it, just get it in your loadout and then start looking over these different squall lightweight barrel. And you can see what it does. You know, this one increases accuracy. This one... Uh, a lightweight barrel, which is not only makes the firearm more compact and easier to carry, but also allows quicker aiming and handling to confirm. So it's like aim down sight stuff that kind of gets added with it. But as you can see, if you go down everything, like the barrel has a bunch of different barrel mod attachments for, for these guns. Uh, the muzzle looks like just one. It feels like that there's going to be more coming out as the game, you know, gets more popular and, and kind of regresses. But, but that's a big difference, you guys. That's really the only difference in the epics and the commons is just how many attachments you can put on them. And then... The, the different attachments kind of just uh, depend on, on your game style. You know, you can put on something that makes it a close range weapon, a long range weapon, and really just customize it to your style so that when you do get your loadout perfect, uh, you can just get in here and start dominating that way. But when you open those chests, like I said, they're going to have a random loadout on them. So going in there and being able to just uh, look at your inventory and see what's equipped on it and then understanding what it adds to the table. Is it a you know something that makes it easier to kill people at a distance or at a close range is very important. So go do your homework on that. But but yeah, that's how you modify. And that's the difference between the rarities in the, in the weapon. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you turn on the notifications and stay tuned for our daily live streams. Peace.